Slide one. Good evening and welcome to the State Road 808 Glades Road and I-95 Diverging Diamond Interchange Implementation Virtual Public Meeting. Today is Thursday, January 19th, 2023. Before we get started, if there are any elected officials who have joined the meeting, I invite you to please introduce yourselves now. The existing State Road 808 Glades Road and I-95 interchange is being converted to a diverging diamond interchange as part of 95 Express Phase 3B2. Financial project identification numbers for this project are 433-109-5-52-01 and 02, 412-420-4-52-01, Dash one, dash five two, dash zero one. Project limits for this operation include State Road 808 Glades Road from Military Trail to Airport Road and the State Road 9 I-95 exit and entrance ramps. Slide two. My name is Andrea Piccini. I'm the community outreach manager for this project and I will be your moderator this evening. Before we begin the presentation, I will share a few items regarding this meeting's format. A brief presentation followed by a question and answer session will be held from 5.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. and again from 6 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Please note, questions and comments may be submitted via online chat for the project team to address directly. Slide three. The Florida Department of Transportation complies with various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. This meeting is being held without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. For questions or concerns, you may contact either the District 4 Title VI Coordinator, Sharon Singh Hayan, at 954-777. 4190, or the interim state Title VI coordinator, Stefan Kalikowski at 850-414-4742. Slide four. Before the presentation starts, I will briefly go over the rules of engagement that were established for this virtual public meeting. This virtual public meeting is being recorded. All attendees will remain muted throughout the meeting if you experience technical difficulties, please contact GoToWebinar Support at 833-851-8340. Attendees are also welcome to submit any questions or comments using the platform's control panel at any time. A member of the team will respond during the question and answer portion. Slide four. Before the presentation starts, I will briefly go over the rules of engagement that were established for this virtual public meeting. This virtual public meeting is being recorded. All attendees will remain muted throughout the meeting. If you experience technical difficulties, please contact GoToWebinar Support at 833-851-8340. Attendees are also welcome to submit any questions or comments using the platform's control panel at any time. A member of the team will respond during the question and answer portion. Slide four. Before the presentation starts, I will briefly go over the rules of engagement that were established for this virtual public meeting. This virtual public meeting is being recorded. All attendees will remain muted throughout the meeting. If you experience technical difficulties, please contact GoToWebinar Support at 833-851-8340. Attendees are also welcome to submit any questions or comments using the platform's control panel at any time. A member of the team will respond during the question and answer portion. Slide five. We are using the GoToWebinar meeting platform for this meeting. There is no cost to the public to log in or dial in to participate in the meeting. Questions and comments can be entered into the chat feature for the team to address directly. To speak, please click the hand icon during the question and answer session. This meeting is being recorded and will be posted to the FDOT District 4 website. Slide six. I will introduce the project team at this time. Ariam Galindo is the FDOT Senior Construction Project Manager. Aurelio Matos is the Consultant Senior Project Engineer. 
Tamir Shah is the consultant project administrator. Claudia Mendez is the senior construction project manager for the contractor. Yamila Hernandez is the design build firm's design project manager. Slide seven, DDI implementation overview. The purpose of this operation is to convert the existing State Road 808 Glades Road and State Road 9 I-95 interchange to a diverging diamond interchange or DDI. Project limits for this operation are State Road 808 Glades Road from Military Trail to Airport Road and include the I-95 entrance and exit ramps. The prime contractor for this construction project is Prince Contracting LLC. DDI construction activities began on Glades Road in March 2021. The DDI is included in the scope of work for 95 Express Phase 3B2, which began in November 2019 and has contract time through late 2023. The DDI will be implemented during the weekend of January 27th through the 30th, 2023. The weekend of February 3rd through the 6th, 2023 will be used as contingency if needed. Slide 8. Project improvements include converting the State Road 808 Glades Road and State Road 9 I-95 interchange to a diverging diamond interchange, constructing a dedicated pedestrian bridge in the median of State Road 808 Glades Road over State Road 9 I-95, replacing impacted drainage structures and utilities and installing new drainage structures and light poles, adding seven foot bike lanes on both sides of the road, and constructing pedestrian crosswalks with rectangular rapid flashing beacons at the I-95 entrance ramps. Slide nine, project improvements also include the installation of 18 new signal mast arms, the installation of five new overhead sign structures, installation of wrong way driving countermeasures, the reconfiguration of existing ramps to accommodate the new DDI geometry, milling and resurfacing, and widening of the north side of the State Road 808 Glades Road Bridge over Military Trail and retrofit of the State Road 808 Glades Road Bridges over I-95. Slide 10. What is a DDI? A diverging diamond interchange, or DDI, is a type of interchange that allows the two directions of traffic on the roadway to temporarily cross to the opposite side of the road. Unlike a conventional interchange, the lanes in a DDI cross over to the left side of the roadway. This limits the number of traffic signal phases and allows drivers to make a left turn without crossing in front of oncoming traffic. The lanes then change back to the right side of the road. Signalized intersections located on each side of the State Road 808 Glades Road and I-95 interchange, as well as overhead directional signage and pavement markings, will facilitate the smooth crossing of traffic, alleviate traffic delays and congestion on State Road 808 Glades Road, and reduce crashes at the interchange. These improvements will help to accommodate future projected traffic demand and improve safety, mobility, and efficiency for all users. Slide 11. This photo depicts an aerial image of the existing configuration of the State Road 808 Glades Road and I-95 interchange taken in November of 2020 before construction work on this portion of the project began. For orientation, this vantage point depicts looking west across State Road 808 Glades Road over I-95 with the Boca Raton Community High School track and football field on the left side of the image. Slide 12. This aerial image depicts the same vantage point looking west across State Road 808 Glades Road over I-95 with the Boca Raton Community High School track and football field on the left side of the image. Here you can see the progress that's been made since construction work began on the DDI on Glades Road in March of 2021. Slide 13. This image depicts an aerial view of the State Road 808 Glades Road and I-95 interchange looking west taken in January of 2023. Here you can see the new DDI footprint is coming into focus with the installation of overhead sign structures, 18 new traffic signal mast arms, and the construction of a dedicated median pedestrian bridge. Slide 14. The benefits of a diverging diamond interchange include improved traffic operations, 
By diverting traffic to the left side of the road, the DDI eliminates conflicts between left turning traffic to and from the ramps and through travelers on the crossroad. This allows traffic signals at the DDI to operate with two signal phases as opposed to four signal phases. Reducing the number of signal phases results in higher capacity, less congestion and delay along State Road 808 Glades Road and the interchange, smaller queues at the DDI, and improved level of service for every movement. The DDI also reduces conflict points to 14 from the standard 26 conflict points found in a conventional diamond design. Slide 15. DDI benefits include increased safety. By diverting traffic to the left side of the road, the left turn movement into opposing traffic is eliminated, providing safer access to and from I-95. The DDI also eliminates the number of times vehicles can cross paths, resulting in a projected reduction of crashes. Additional safety features include new signalization and lighting, overhead directional signage, wrong way driving countermeasures, and pavement shields and markings. Slide 16. DDI benefits include enhanced accessibility for all users. This DDI features enhanced access for all users with dedicated bike lanes and a pedestrian bridge and pathways. Compared to conventional interchanges, DDIs have shorter pedestrian walkways. When walking through a DDI, pedestrians should cross traffic on designated walkways to reach the median. Bicyclists have the option to use walkways or travel through bike lanes located on either side of the median pedestrian bridge. Slide 17, maintenance of traffic during DDI implementation weekend, January 27th through the 30th, 2023. Electronic signs and advance warning and detour static signs will be placed throughout the construction corridor and along surrounding arterial roads to alert and inform the traveling public of the State Road 808 Glades Road and I-95 closures. Florida Highway Patrol will have five troopers posted at the State Road 808 Glades Road and I-95 interchange during the weekend operation. Law enforcement will be on site during the first week to ensure that motorists are following the new traffic pattern. The project team is working closely with the City of Boca Raton and other local agencies to ensure safety standards are met and impacts to the public are minimized in every way possible. Business access will be maintained during the weekend implementation operation. Slide 18. All public access to and from State Road 808 Glades Road at I-95 will be restricted from 11 p.m. Friday night, January 27th until 6 a.m. Monday morning, January 30th for implementation operations. The project team has coordinated closely with the City of Boca Raton's emergency services and emergency vehicle access will be maintained at all times throughout this operation. Slide 19. During DDI implementation weekend, the I-95 southbound exit ramp to State Road 808 Glades Road will be closed. Traffic will be detoured via I-95 southbound and Palmetto Park Road. Glades Road East traffic will be detoured via State Road 5, Federal Highway, US-1. Glades Road West traffic will be detoured via State Road 809, Military Trail, and Butts Road. Slide 20. During DDI implementation weekend, the I-95 southbound entrance ramp from eastbound State Road 808 Glades Road will be closed. Traffic will be detoured via Butts Road, Town Center Road, State Road 809 Military Trail, and Palmetto Park Road. Slide 21. During DDI implementation weekend, the I-95 southbound entrance ramp from westbound Glades Road will be closed. Traffic will be detoured via Airport Road and State Road 794 Yamato Road. Slide 22. During DDI implementation weekend, the I-95 northbound exit ramp to State Road 808 Glades Road will be closed. Traffic will be detoured via I-95 northbound and State Road 794 Yamato Road. Glades Road East traffic will be detoured via US-1 and Glades Road West traffic will be detoured via State Road 809 Military Trail. Slide 23. During DDI implementation weekend, the I-95 northbound entrance ramp from westbound State Road 808 Glades Road will be closed. Traffic will be detoured via Airport Road and State Road 794 Yamato Road to the I-95 northbound entrance ramp. Slide 24. 
During DDI Implementation Weekend, the I-95 northbound entrance ramp from eastbound State Road 808 Glades Road will be closed. Traffic will be detoured via Butts Road, State Road 809 Military Trail, and State Road 794 Yamato Road. Slide 25. During DDI Implementation Weekend, eastbound State Road 808 Glades Road at I-95 will be closed. Traffic will be detoured via Butts Road, State Road 809 Military Trail, Palmetto Park Road, and State Road 5 Federal Highway US-1. Slide 26. During DDI Implementation Weekend, westbound State Road 808 Glades Road at I-95 will be closed. Traffic will be detoured via Airport Road, Spanish River Boulevard, State Road 809 Military Trail, and Butts Road. Slide 27. What to expect after DDI implementation. The State Road 808 Glades Road and I-95 interchange will open to traffic in the new DDI configuration at 6 a.m. Monday morning, January 30th. Law enforcement officers will be on site to ensure motorists follow the new traffic pattern. Traffic at the interchange will be monitored 24-7 by the City of Boca Raton's Traffic and Engineering Department and by FDOT's Traffic Management Center. Daytime and nighttime closures will still be needed to complete outstanding work outside of the DDI roadway footprint. Glades Road I-95 interchange work outside of the DDI footprint is anticipated to be completed by May 1, 2023. Overall contract time for 95 Express Phase 3B2 runs through late 2023. Slide 28, tips for navigating the DDI. Don't approach the new interchange at a high rate of speed. The new configuration will be different than what you're used to, with the existing westbound direction becoming the new eastbound movement and the existing eastbound direction becoming the new westbound movement. Don't rely on your GPS initially to provide accurate directions to navigate through the DDI. Do slow down as you approach the new interchange. Do obey the traffic signals like you would on any other road, and do follow the overhead signage and pavement markings. Slide 29. Please enjoy the virtual drive through video of the State Road 808 Glades Road and I-95 Diverging Diamond Interchange design. We will start the question and answer session after the video. Slide 30. Now we will go ahead and start the question and answer portion of the meeting. To provide a comment, please submit questions or comments using the GoToWebinar question panel. If you would like to speak, please select the hand raised icon to be unmuted. Slide 33. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact the project team via the information listed below. Slide 34. Sign up for weekly construction activity updates by contacting me, the Community Outreach Manager, at apacini at corradino.com. Traffic impacts will be included in the District Communication Manager's weekly traffic impact press release. All project updates will also be posted to the District 4 website. Please scan the QR code to go directly to the DDI project page. The project team meets regularly with city and county officials, community groups, law enforcement agencies, and property owners regarding project updates as needed. Slide 35, FDOT safety message for the month of January. Remember, it's Florida law to move over for stopped emergency vehicles.